So our weather headlines, wind chills in the single digits and teens through Thursday in the forecast through tomorrow into Friday morning. We have icy and hazardous roads will continue as we melt and then refreeze. That will be a pattern for us the next two days. We're not going to be above freezing until midday on Friday, but then still Friday night into Saturday, we have temperatures dropping below freezing, so melting again. Fort Worth time lapse shows that there was the Trinity River frozen over there here uh, near Fort Worth, and now you can see as we widen out the view, it's still uh, there off in the distance, so not a sight that we see often here in North Texas. 27 was the high today. The best we could do, 18 is where we started out. So very cold, and right now we have our temperatures that are sitting still in the mid to the upper 20s across the majority of North Texas, 24 in Bridgeport right now to 24 in Gainesville. But when you factor in the wind, it still feels like the teens, so you need to bundle up if you are outside. We're going to be seeing those uh, feels like temperatures dropping even more because tonight our temperatures drop down into the upper teens to the low 20s, but the winds don't die down. They're going to be about maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the future cast for the feels like temperature shows already by 7 in the morning. We'll see maybe a feels like temperature of 1 in Den to even 6 below in Bowie to 8 below in Graham to about 3 in Terrell. So you need to address those layers and then into tomorrow afternoon. The feels like temperature back into the teens. However, going to Friday morning back down into the single digits. And then we're going to continue to thaw out. Now, hour by hour tomorrow, we start out at 20. We make it up to about 31. So very close to the freezing mark. We'll see some. Some sunshine peek through, and that's going to melt some of the roadways, uh, the ice that's on the roadways. And road temperatures right now are all sitting in the upper 20s to the low 20s. So, talking about this, when the road temperature is below 32 degrees, we can get black ice, and that's that very thin layer of ice that accumulates on the pavement. It's transparent, really hard to see. Now, we have a lot of snow that's on the roads as well. By the time we go to Friday, more sunshine returns. It's going to melt a lot of the snowpack during the day, and then at night, when we drop back down below the freezing mark, it gets icy again. Again, and we have more black ice that's going to be on our roads. We're not the only ones dealing with the really cold air. You can see this Arctic air mass really has settled in. It's eventually going to be shifting its way off towards the east into the northeast. So here's the low pressure that I'm talking about. That lifts its way northeastward. So going into Friday, warming up a bit, into Saturday, into Sunday. But we need to look out towards the Pacific for a big ridge of high pressure to start to build in by Monday into Tuesday. That brings the warm air into the upper levels, which transports down to the surface and allows us to fall out. So we'll be above freezing by midday on Friday. We're back down to 21 degrees by Saturday morning, but then by Saturday afternoon, 44 in sunny skies. And then thankfully, Sunday morning, we don't drop below freezing. It will be cold, but not below the freezing mark. We'll make it to 55. And then by the time we go to next Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to see temperatures for highs flirting with the 70 degree mark. So a couple more days for us where we're really cold by Friday morning. And then, Doug, finally, we're thawing out. Isn't that crazy looking at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then think about where we are right yeah, now? Exactly. Scott, thank you so much.